Some have asked, how do you get into the frunk if you have a dead 12 volt battery? Well, the correct answer is you remove the nose cone, jump the vehicle via the remote terminals, battery terminals, which will then electrify the car again, allowing you to pop the trunk or the frunk. Well, apparently that answer is not good enough for some people, so uh, the next question was, well, if you have access to the passenger compartment, yet the 12 volt is dead, how do you gain access to the frunk? Passenger side compartment here. You go under, let me turn on the uh, light, and there is a manual release lever by some poorly hidden wiring. Done. Now, there is also then, because uh, remember these are all double latch, if you're not using the electric, and you press down, yeah, it's not easy to do. Sometimes you need to press the hood down slightly to release some pressure on that latch there. That's what that is for. And there you have it. I happen to have a baby stroller that goes clunk and a Chinese takeout menu. And if you're ever in the Milwaukee area, I can highly recommend China Express. 7107 South 76th Street, Franklin, Wisconsin, 53132. Monday hours, 10, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday, Saturday, 11 to 10.30. Sunday, 12 to 10. Tasty food. And that is how you open the frunk with a dead volt, 12 volt battery. Uh, now, why you'd want to open the frunk with a dead 12 volt battery? Uh, if you're too scared to pry off the nose cone to gain access to your 12 volt battery remote terminals, you can then pop off this stuff here. Although I find this is actually harder to pop off and you have run the risk of actually breaking something. If you just pop the nose cone off, nose cone popped off, jumper, and you're done. Cheers.